The Nashville Terminal opened in 2008. Over the years, we've gone through a couple renovations. We've grown quite a bit. We currently have 73 trucks that we run over the road. Our culture here in Nashville is home. That's the only way I know how to describe it. We try to make everybody feel welcome when you walk into the building. We've heard horror stories from drivers from where they walk into a facility and they feel like a stranger or they feel like they're in, in jail. They can't sit down and talk to their driver manager. They can't talk to their terminal manager. Most of my day is spent with drivers at my desk. When they come to talk to me, it's not just about a problem. It's about their lives. It's about my life. They all know my kid. I know their kids. We know their families. So I started at night transportation in uh, March. March of 2023, got my CDL a little bit earlier. They hired me on, went over the road for about eight months, decided I'd come off the road to try to spend a little bit more time with my family, and luckily, Knight's the kind of company that will accommodate that. I've been doing this type of work, either driving a truck or hiring people uh, in an office setting. I've been doing it now for, this will be my 24th year. And one thing that sets uh, this terminal apart is our culture. We are one of the largest companies uh, in the Western Hemisphere. We don't operate as a mega carrier. We operate as a, a hometown carrier that gets to know our drivers. Uh, people here are not a number. They're a name, their wants, their needs, their family situation. All of that comes into play in everything that we do every day. As far as the uniqueness goes, I really think it's the team that I have here. We're together outside of work. We're together at work. It's a big family and our drivers are included. We have drivers that go to Fred's games with us on the weekends. And when you enjoy what you do every day, you enjoy who you work with every day, it makes it a lot easier to get the job done. Nashville's the reigning champion for the Halloween costume contest. The first year I worked here, we won. We did Orange is the New Black that year. We've done everything from Spice Girls to Space Jam. And so part of working here is you gotta be part of the Halloween costume. If you don't wanna be part of the Halloween costume, we have a problem. As adults and as leaders in the industry, sometimes that we forget that life is still fun. It needs to be fun. Work needs to be fun. Nobody wants to come to work and be miserable every day. Driving a truck is a lot and it makes my drivers smile when they come in and they get a Christmas card with everybody in matching pajamas or a Top Gun facilitator in a onesie. We're grown, but we don't have to be sad and sour all the time. So I hit my 10 year anniversary. I started here in 2014. It's been a wild ride. I started as a recruiter. I did that for a couple years. I went into DDM and safety for a couple years. And then in 2021, I took over the terminal. Night from day one has displayed a culture that I believe in. You treat people how they deserve to be treated regardless of job title or position. I was given an opportunity when I got my job here that I wouldn't have had in most companies. I don't have a college degree. Somebody took a chance on me and quite a few of my employees I've taken a chance on and without night I wouldn't live the life that I get to live. I wouldn't be able to take care of my daughter the way that I do. This is my home and I love the people that I work with from here to Phoenix to Texas to all over and it says a lot when the culture that I feel in my building is what you feel even when you pick up the phone and call another building because it's about the quality of people that we hire to work for us. But it's never really why do I work here because I know why I work here. It's just home.